you know, most people aren't malicious and, and intend to hurt your feelings or let you down or disappoint you or, or not hold up their word. Most people really mean to do well. And so when it happens, back to the four agreements, you don't take it personally and you, you find out what happened before you react, you know? I am impervious to being disappointed in people because I have no expectations. Right. That's very smart. I learned that from Gary V. He'll hook you up with a connection or whatever it is oh. or, or a job or something. And he doesn't expect anything in no. return. No. A lot of people have expectations of people when they are giving. Or that is very true. And a gift is not a gift if there's an expectation. Exactly. It's so a part. You can't be upset or disappointed in other people if you aren't worrying about <laughs> your own expectations of them. Right. That's just such a waste of time. Yes. To to have expectations of anybody. No one's gonna let me down because I don't have any expectations of anybody. You know, like I just well, flow. You, I don't think you can say that as an absolute. Not a hundred percent. Obviously, yeah. if 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 my sister murders somebody, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> well, yeah, and if you, if Brooklyn cheats on you, exactly. It, you know that that's it. You're talking about two different things. I wanted to make that clear. Yeah, you're talking about two different things. Yeah. One thing is, of course, there are expectations in life. Your your boss has expectations that are realistic. Yeah. And real, and your your wife, your spouse, your brother, your sister, your mother. Your close friendships, you know, I don't lie to my friends. That's an expectation that they don't lie back. But I know what you're talking about is that this is a way what I call that. I call it running your own race. Exactly. I'm running my race, right? You yes. run your race. And if I give you a leg up in your race, that's because I, that now that's part of your race. That's not mine anymore. So when he gives you a gift like you're talking about, that's part of your race. So in his mind, he doesn't go, well, that's still part of my race, even though I gave it to you. You're running your own race. So your expectations have to do with your little uh, insulated world and not people outside of that. I think that's what you mean. Yeah. Right? The things that I can control. Yes. Yeah. Running your own race is something someone, someone said that to me when I was young, really young, like maybe 13 or 14. I don't even remember who it was, but, and I don't think they said it to me. I think seems like I was like in cheerleading practice or something and people were arguing about something. And the coach said, you run your race and you run your race. Don't worry about what she's doing. You don't worry about what she's doing. You worry about what you're doing. And if everybody worries about what they're doing, we'll be on track. And I thought, huh, that's pretty true. And then as life has gone on, I keep applying that. Like to, our daughters had a fight yesterday and it was about, well, she, no, but she, and I said, you run your own race. You don't know what her race is like. So don't put any perceptions of yours on her race and you run your race. You don't know what her race is like, so don't think you do. You run your race, you run your race, and don't worry about it. Because guess what? Fair is not equal. Fair is Fair not is equal. Not. Boom. Sports psychology is still psychology. There's a great picture of uh, Michael Phelps swimming, doing the you know his butterfly stroke or whatever it is, and then his opponent is looking at him, and he's looking straight ahead. Wow. I just got chill bumps. I just got serious. Can you see them? I just got chill bumps. That is the definition of ego. Yeah. And, and what's, if you're jealous, you're not running your own race. If you're envious, you're not running your own race. If you're resentful, you're not running your own race. You're worried about somebody else's race. And that's what I mean by no one can let me down because I don't have those expectations. Because you're running your own race. Boom. Yeah, exactly.